The Doom Patrol is simultaneously something I never knew I wanted from comic books, yet feels perfect for the kinds of stories I enjoy in the medium. While the team was created by Arnold Drake, Bob Hanley, and Bruno Permani, it wasn't until Grant Morrison took over the series that the team gained their modern notoriety as DC's experimental and weird team of super misfits. While I love Grant Morrison's run on Doom Patrol, my personal favorite run on the team came in 2016 with Gerard Way's take. My name is Casey Brink and I only want to do good things. When I was a little girl, my mother told me, be a bright light in a black hole, just before she flew into the sun. So I stay bright. I stay white hot. I know this inside out. I'm new to the unit, but I've been doing this as long as I can remember, which I think is a very long time. I can't tell. I'm tired, but I'm not jaded. I've got a toothache, but I'm smiling. I'm liberating planets one angry sprite at a time. This run stars newcomer Casey Brink, who serves as a newcomer lens to introduce us to the wilder cosmic concepts the Doom Patrol normally tackles. The first arc sees Casey quickly getting accustomed to the Doom Patrol regulars like Robot Man and discovering that she is a comic book character herself. Okay, so the Doom Patrol have an omnipotent friend called Danny, who is currently a theme park called Danny Land after a tragic encounter with a villain, so they decide to create fiction to cope with this tragedy, but they've grown so powerful that their fiction has come to life and taken a form of its own, and that form is Casey. While this conflict is quite the existential crisis for Casey, it can be comparable to how a lot of fictional characters can grow so powerful and popular that they take on a life of their own, devoid of the initial creator's intentions, which has happened a lot in comic books. To go a bit further with these comparisons, the alien villains of the first story arc want to take Danny's creations and squish them as fast food, similar to how comic stories are adapted or simplified for common audiences. At the end of the day, Casey comes to terms with her origins and that no matter how she came into existence, she'll keep choosing love and to help people out. I know, Danny. The world is hard and unforgiving. It can change you, because we're made up of all the things that happen to us. The good things fill your heart, but the bad things and what we choose to do with them really make us who we are. I'll keep choosing love. I know it's why I keep burning bright. While Casey's my standout favorite for this series, the journeys the rest of the characters go on are quite interesting as well, like the other new major character, Terry Nunn, whose costume isn't just a reference to an Ultraman monster known as Dada, but is also another person who wasn't born traditionally. So when Casey and Terry kiss, they had a baby and it threatened to tear reality apart. It's quite heartwarming and later heartbreaking to see these two who have so much in common find companionship in each other. Though while I'm talking a lot about the new characters, rest assured that the classic Doom Patrol characters characters are just as great as ever. I found Robot Man and Mr. Negative to be their usual depressed but charming selves, which is great, but what really hit me hard with the classic characters was Jane's arc. She starts to come to terms that she'll have to live with her condition forever and needs to learn to live with it, which hit me hard as someone on the spectrum. Overall, Gerard Way's Doom Patrol is a wild and great comic book about the wonders of creativity and empathy, both concepts that I value dearly. The ending monologue of Casey at issue 11, talking about how it's hard to say goodbye to someone you know, but not letting it stop you from meeting new people, hits me hard every time I read it, and is a perfect way to end this story. I know. I'm on my way. I'm not great at goodbyes. And feeling things for people is new to me. It's hard, at first. Because there's nothing safe about loving people. But that doesn't mean I'll stop trying. Stop loving. Stop caring or stop running after them. This bizarre but wonderful story that has a character solely created to sell toys reject his existence and become the main villain. Please check this comic out. I mean, it has funny cutaway gags. You're not gonna get that from your average comic. Okay, before I close this video off, huge thanks to Nizumi VA for voicing some of my favorite Casey moments. It's really appreciated that you decided to do this. Uh, please check her videos out, and if you're a casting call director somehow watching this, hire her for stuff because she is a great voice actress.